Hey guys, DJ CJ here from DJ CJ Live. I have had a couple friends ask me on how to use XSplit and how to make the settings correct so that you know they're not dropping frames. So I am going to show you my own settings here so that you can basically replicate what I'm doing. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you my window here. This is how you add scene sources. Basically go to add, then go to add screen region and this is going to be your main screen. So click anywhere on the desktop now and I'm going to actually remove my other one. So this is the one I just added right here. You can move this around the exploit screen. So move it up into the corner, stretch it out, and then you can set which layer level it's on like that. So for pretty much every game, I just use the uh, desktop screen region like that. You can also add images. And when you're streaming, you just click the check boxes off and on as you need them. You can also set up uh, scenes here for specific things to show if you want to have presets. Uh, there's two buttons right here, microphone and speaker. You can mute both of those. Just keep the volumes at max. Next, you'll want to have your resolution set up. Go to File, Resolution, Edit Resolutions and pick all the resolutions you think you might use just so you can switch to them quick only pick 16 9 ratios though those are the only ratios that will work with twitch tv so i have currently the 1280 by 720 which is the 720p video standard i definitely recommend using this one you can try the 1920 by 1080p but you're going to have to have, well, first of all, a really good graphics card and CPU. And you're going to have to hope that the Twitch upload servers are operating efficiently because there's been a lot of lag with them recently and I've had problems with dropped frames. So for now, just to make sure things are stable, I'm doing it in 720p. That's what I recommend until you become more comfortable with using the program. So make sure that's selected here because this is the default resolution that's going to stream to your channel. Now if you're paying for the upgraded version of XSplit, which would be the personal edition, uh, you can upgrade the FPS to 30 instead of the usual 25. I definitely recommend getting the personal edition if you can. I think it's what, 15 bucks for three months? And having the additional 5 FPS will make movements in game such as when you're turning and when looking at things, it'll make it look a lot more smooth and less grainy than if it was 25. 30 is really the standard. If you look on any YouTube video, they're streaming at 30 FPS. I think you can leave the rest of these the way they are. I set my scale viewport to 50% personally, just so it's not huge and it'll also uh, save you a little bit performance. Next you are going to want to go to broadcast and edit channels. And when I went to edit channels I went to add RTMP server. Now what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to set in really specific settings for Twitch because we don't want it to give us any um, preset settings. So I'm going to show you right now what my settings are. Here we go. Move this out of the way. I don't know if you can see this. Should I zoom in? Okay. So you got your name of the channel at the top. Next field you want is the RTMP URL. What this is, is the specific Twitch server that you are uploading to. 
this is uh, the name for it. It's technically the Virginia secondary server. And there's a tool you're going to want to use to figure out which server is best for you. It's called Ingest Ranker. So to download Ingest Ranker, go to this address. I'm going to put it in the description also so you can click on it more easily. And what Ingest Ranker does is it tells you not only the closest server, but the one that's going to be fastest for you. So for me, the number one was New York, but it turns out I was having really big problems using the New York server. So it was recommended to me by a mod on the uh, Twitch support forums that I actually never use the New York one. Apparently it's one of the most congested ones there are when it's prime time, basically between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. Eastern in the New York, New York area. So that's why I'm going to Virginia Secondary right now. And if you don't know the, I guess, addresses for the different servers, you can search Twitch RTMP servers. This is the server listings for the RTMP servers that your computer will be streaming to when you are live. So that ingest ranker program I showed you is going to rank these based on uh, your location and connection. So my first recommendation was to use the New York location JFK. Don't use that server if it's recommending it to you. Um, the server has been really slow. All last week during prime time I was getting between 1.5 and 1.7 megabit upload to that server. Terrible, terrible. My ISP gives me about a 6.7, 6.9 cap. So on the forums it was recommended to me by a moderator to use a secondary server or even a third from that list. So right now I'm using Ashburn, Virginia. I've also heard about people from the Midwest even using the Texas one. Is there a Texas one here? They said they were using the San Antonio one. So don't use a New York one. If you have problems, try another. I will put this list in the description also. Okay, moving on. The next thing you will need is the stream key. To find the stream key, you will go to this web address. Twitch.tv slash broadcast. And then click show key, copy it, paste it, bam. Next user agent, make sure it says XSplit. Video encoding, make sure the preset is XSplit default and the codec will then be X.264. Quality, set it to 6. 6 is fine. You can do 8 if you really want. It's not necessary to use 10 at all. These are the bit rates I'm using. I would start out using 2000 and 2100 as your starting bit rates until you know you can push the limitations of your upload. Could I stream in a higher bit rate? Absolutely. It was recommended to me by Tauli at twitch.tv slash Tauli to use these and I'm continuing to use them only because I've had upload problems to Twitch. So as the you know time goes I might up that a little bit might go to 2600 2700 once I know the connection stable I think Tali is even uploading around 3200 maybe 3400 and that's when he's doing 1080p so okay next make sure the resolution is at default stage audio encoding if you have the upgraded version of XSplit to personal edition Make sure you're using the AACLC codec at 44.100 kHz, 16-bit stereo, and set the bitrate to 128. 
If you want to push the limitations again, you can set it to 192. Make sure these checkboxes are not checked. You can't see because of my camera. Bop, ba -da -bop. Ba -da -bop. These two checkboxes at the bottom left automatically record and interleave audio. Leave them unchecked. So once you've got all that set up, you, I believe, are pretty much ready to go. I'm just going to double check. You can announce things to like Twitch and Facebook and Twitter if you want. I don't do that. You can even activate delays in case you got people stream sniping you. I don't really have to deal with that. But the options are there if you need it. So good luck to you and if you have any questions, please post them below.